Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Motor Services. Uh, broke open uh, one of our 550H EPOS automotors here and I just thought I'd share a couple things with you uh, while we got it opened up. Pulled the batteries out of here just to make it easier to see. Uh, one, of the, one of the key differences between uh, an EPOS mower and a regular uh, 400 or 500 series automower is the, uh, the main board back here you can see that there's a there's a port here um, has that phone jack style um, plug there and here there's a four port plug above where the headlights plug in and if you look at that compared to this here is the standard board out of a out of a 450 or a 550 you can see the difference there let me, let me put this back here so I can zoom in for it zoom in on it for you to make it a little bit easier uh, bear with me trying to do this all here at one time uh, there we go moving on in so you can see the main board looks the same I mean it looks very similar it's the same shape uh, a lot of the, a lot of the plugs and everything are the same on it uh, but here this one is is added to the one for the e-post mower and this one right here as well and over here um, there's a couple of the the plugs over here at this side that they eliminated on here because they just don't need them. Um, so that's the that's the one big difference in the bottom end of the the automowers between a, an e post mower and a non e post mower. So now I'll show you on the uh, well before I do that I should just mention you know all this other stuff in here batteries I don't have them in here like I said so you can get a better look at the uh, at the um, main board here and everything but. Wheel motors, batteries, cutting motor, cutting height adjustment, ultrasonic board, your wires, all that stuff, it's all the same. Uh, from a, an e-post mower to a non-e-post mower, there's a loop sensor up here in the front. You can't see it, but it's the same loop sensor up there. So now I'll pull the top half up here, the upper chassis, and I'll show you it because that's where there's some big differences at. All right, first, I'll show you this. This is the upper chassis off of a 450XH, and we have this one apart because, well, couldn't get to do anything because the ribbon cable was kinked here. So warranty department, if you're watching that, and I make this claim on this, here's your, your evidence. But uh, at any rate, you can see we have our lift sensors, um, you know, the standard stuff you guys are used to seeing in all the videos, and if you've ever had yours apart, we got our HMI board here. We have our COM board back here. Uh, does works with the uh, Automotor Connect and the GPS and everything. We got a sensor board up there for uh, collisions. Like I said, lift, uh, rear collision. You know, pretty simple. Not a whole lot going on under there, right? So we'll move this to the side and show you this. Let me flip it around here so we got the correct orientation. Same as the last one, you know, we had up here. This is the one out of an e-post mower, or off of an e-post mower. You see we got the uh, the harness and everything with the, the lift sensors, just like in the other one. We got the collision sensor back here, just like on uh, the standard one. But um, our, our comm board is moved to the front of the mower instead of being in the back. And you can see that it connects with uh, one of these, um, it's basically like a, like a phone cord style cable. And... You know, on our, our standard ones, they use the uh, the ribbon cable that plugs into this pinkish collared plug here, not on the EPOS mowers. So we have our our receiver here for the satellite signal in the middle. That's what's in that hump on the top of the mower. And then we have another board back here. Uh, this is our basically our, our version of the HMI board for the EPOS mowers. You know, on um, the, uh, the 550s and the 520s, when you take them apart, you'll see that there's a regular style HMI board in there, just like the 450s have, but the screen is covered up, so you can't see any of, the, any of the stuff it's saying because there's no access to it from the outside. It just has that rocker uh, toggle switch, you know, for a start and stop, just like the e-post mowers do. But it's a completely different board here, uh, taking the place of the HMI board. This is more of an, an application style board. Um, compared to the, uh, the standard HMI boards in uh, those, the, the regular 450s and 550s. So you can see um, definitely a, a big difference here. And so for all you guys that keep asking, can I take my old 450 and, and make it wireless? No. <laughs> um, you could buy all these parts if you really wanted to. 
you would have to buy a whole new upper chassis because this hump that's in there, that doesn't come apart. Like this is molded that way to have that hump in it. So you would need the upper chassis. You would need all this expensive stuff, this expensive board right here. And you would need the different main board that's in the, the bottom end. And even if you bought all that stuff, even if you put all that together, you would still need a different charging station board. You would need a reference station. And most importantly, you would need the serial number from an e-post mower. Because as we know, main boards, yeah, they all look the same and everything. You can throw them into a mower, um, but they won't do anything until you program them, and you can't program them without the serial number. So even between a 550 and a 450, um, the, the main boards will be the same main board. But once you put the serial number in there, that mower is going to know whether it's a 450 or a 550. Um, same way like we, we've showed you before in videos where uh, a 430, a uh, 450, a uh, 520, and a 550. Whether low cuts, high cuts, doesn't matter. They use the same main board. This one I just showed you here. They, they all use this main board. And it's just a blank main board. You put it in there, and as soon as you put the serial number in there, it's going to know what model it is. And that's the difference between being able to use two batteries or one battery because it's going to know if it's a 550 or a 450 and can use two batteries, or if it's going to be a 430 and it can only use one battery, or if it's a 520 and it's going to be looking for that 4 amp hour battery instead of the 5 amp hour battery. That's what we'll get to in another video. That's a fun one. Um, so, yeah, you could buy all this stuff, which would cost you a fortune throw it in your mower and it still wouldn't be able to work wirelessly because you don't have a serial number to tell it that it is a wireless mower. So um, hopefully that answers that question along with showing you some of the stuff that's in here. Um, yeah, it's a lot of high tech stuff and it's a lot of expensive high tech stuff. So you want to make sure that if you have this thing crossing your driveway, you don't run over it because we've seen that happen on a lot of them. And, if you thought the old ones were a little bit salty to fix, if you ran over one of them, well, when you've got this kind of high-tech Swedish engineering going on in here, um, it's going to get really, really expensive. Um, I mean, for all I know, we might have to send that off to NASA. Who knows? But, um, yeah, like I said, hopefully this, this answers that question. Can I convert my old mower into a wireless one? Because we have heard that so much since these mowers have come out. Um, that's really going to do it for this video here. Just keep it kind of short and sweet. Just wanted to show you guys that stuff. Uh, as always, if you're looking to buy an auto mower, you're looking for parts for your auto mower, you're looking for just some information about auto mowers, whether it's tech support or whatever, uh, first place to go is our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you can't find what you're looking for there on our website, be sure to contact us through the website you can hit the contact us button there and send us a message or you can shoot us an email robotic mower services at gmail.com um that's it so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel